The number of distillery cocktail rooms in Minnesota grew by one to six total with the opening of Lawless Distilling Company. And maybe you've seen their tripling house, the tipping, Tipling House Vodka or Greenway Gin on store shelves. Today we find Mike's Mix inside their new 20 style lounge in the Seward neighborhood of Minneapolis. Going all the way back to like pre-prohibition times, the neighborhood was deemed the hub of hell. And so it, and that they, the neighborhood got that nickname from some of the shady activities that were happening in the neighborhood. And so we've, we've done a little bit of a play on, on the history of the neighborhood. Co-owners Kirsten and Nate Carnitz have been working toward opening the cocktail lounge for the better part of two years. What's emerged is a cozy space that still calls back to the bootleg distilling, gangs, and corruption that once ran rampant in a part of town filled with tippling houses. So a tippling house is essentially a, um, a less sophisticated version of a, of a uh, speakeasy. Sit at one of the tables and gaze into the business end of the distillery, or in one of these salvaged booths, or at the bar where Nick Kosovich and the team at Bitter Cube have built the cocktail menu. Let's talk about these bottles of, of not soda, right? Right, so what we wanted to do at Lawless is definitely have a lot of approachable cocktails, right? In the bottles, Mexican Coke, 7-Up, Orange Fanta, or Squirt, combined with carbonated vodka made in-house. Options to grab and go. Or the DIY Daisy menu lets anyone make a custom cocktail from 1,400 possible flavor combinations. Uh, what you've done today is we're going to make uh, uh, salt and pepper gin, uh, house-made cocoa nib liqueur, uh, champagne syrup, and orange bitters. There are no secrets here, at least no secrets they're not willing to share. Everybody's like, well, where can I buy this salt and pepper gin? And you're like, you know, you probably have salt and pepper at home, <laughs> and we could probably show you how to make that. This beautiful daisy cocktail is served straight up in a glass chilled with liquid nitrogen. Their new fall menu will launch in a few weeks, and it will include an update to a 1940s dessert cocktail with Wisconsin roots, the Pink Squirrel. Our Pink Squirrel is going to have egg yolk and egg white in it. Um, I hate egg yolk drinks. Other people love it. I just find it kind of uh, unpleasant. So I was trying to figure out how could we have half of that amount of egg yolk. Well, this is the way to do it. So we're going to use a quail egg today. The egg is combined with lemon juice, almond syrup called orgeat, maraschino syrup, cocoa nib liqueur, vodka, and Bitter Cube's Cherry Bark Vanilla Bitters as a nod to vanilla ice cream. Are you going to shake this, sir? I will shake it. That's good. I'm sweating just standing here. So if you could do the work, and then we're going to just pour this over crushed ice. There you go. That is our new pink squirrel on the winter menu. And you're the first person to make it. So Cheers. congratulations Thank on that. You. Yeah. you win a pink squirrel. This is better than the one you made. <laughs> yes, I agree. When I get old, whoa, 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 I get high. That looks yeah, really it good. It did look good. Well, the Cocktail Lounge at Lawless Distilling is open Wednesday through Saturday. If you'd like to see their current menu and get the recipe for the pink squirrel before it lands on their new menu, head over to WCCO.com slash Mike's Mix.